Hi my lovelies, I'm Jen and this is Crifty Crafty. Hi my lovelies, I hope you're all well. So today I wanted to talk to you or show you how to download fonts onto your iPhone or iPad so that you can use them in your Design Space app. So the first thing we need to do is download an app called AnyFont. Now it is a paid app, it's £1.99, it's a one-off payment and this gives us the ability to be able to download uh, fonts from sites such as thefont.com. Uh, there is the choice to pay an extra 99 pence um, and this gives you the ability to be able to download font bundles. I haven't done this, uh, for me it's not really worth it because all my font bundles I put straight onto my computer, uh, but the basic uh, 199 uh, version of the app, uh, that allows you to download fonts individually, it's a one-off payment, um, as far as I'm aware you can download as many as you like, you just have to do them individually, otherwise you pay the 99 pence to be able to do them as a bundle. Um, so I absolutely love this app, it is brilliant. So you download the app which is any font and then we go into uh, defont.com and we're just going to download uh, just tell me what. So we're going to go to download and you'll see that it comes up as a zip and it says open in any font. Now the first time you do this it says open in and it gives you another app. I can't, I can't remember which app it was but all you do is you go to more and it comes up import with any font which is this green button on the end um, and once you have pressed that the first time every time after it will come up with open in any font so you only need to do that the once. So we're going to open in any font and it comes up and you can see that we've got just tell me what so we're going to click that and it says tap to install so we're going to click that and then we will allow and then install and it asks us to put our password in so we'll do that and then next and then install and then we've got our red install button comes up so we're going to click that and then we're done so then it will take us back to any font and you can see there that just tell me what um, is is in there so exactly the same as design space on your computer when we download a font um, if design space is open it will not acknowledge that you've downloaded a new font so we have to close it down it's exactly the same on your iPad or your iPhone so before we started I made sure that design space was closed down so we're going to go into that now so we're going to go to new project and we're going to go to tech It always takes a minute to upload so you'll just have to bear with me. Uh, so then we're going to go to system and we're going to search and we're going to start typing in tell me what. There we go, just tell me what has come straight up. So then we're going to write in cricket. I'm just going to make it a little bit bigger and that's it. it it really is as easy as that so that is the app any font it's one pounds 99 um, if you use your iPhone or your iPad a lot um, and you're using the design space app a lot it's definitely worth purchasing it um, as always it is an individual choice it de depends as I say how often you're going to be using your um, design space app uh, but I love it I think it's a really great app to use and it gives you that freedom to be able to 
use fonts that you can use on your computer. Thank you so much for watching everyone. I'll see you all next time. Please do subscribe, like and comment below. Bye.